Right now at five, a trampolo man missing for months is found dead. And don't let the rain fool you. Burn vans across the area remain in effect. We're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Emily is off. A Trempolo man missing for at least two months has been found dead. Octavio Morales was last seen by his family at the St. Joseph the Workman Cathedral last December. On January 10th, Trempolo police declared him a missing person. Police say Morales was found dead Friday in the Marsh area near Myrick Park Drive and East Avenue. They say there is no indication of foul play. A two-year I-94 improvement project in Eau Claire County begins today. Crews are working on I-94 from the U.S. 53 interchange to Mallard Road in the town of Clear Creek. Wisconsin DOT says construction includes building temporary lanes and resurfacing the I-94 U.S. 53 interchange, as well as approach pavement and interchange ramps. The bridges over County D and County J highways will also be replaced. There will be lane closures as the project proceeds. The construction is expected to wrap up in November of 2026. Single lane closures on Wisconsin Highway 35 between Holman and Trempolo begin today. Wisconsin DOT says the lane closures on the bridge over Black River are for a soil investigation in the area. That includes exploration and sampling of soils for structural design purposes. So there will be temporary signals set up on that portion of the highway, and those closures will run until Tuesday, April 30th. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers has signed a Republican plan that increases the state's child care tax credit. This bill is the only one of Republicans' four proposals that the governor has signed into law. The maximum tax credit a Wisconsinite can claim will rise from about $500 to $3,500 for a single filer. Those with more dependents can claim up to $7,000. Evers' office says 110,000 taxpayers will benefit, with an average of about $650 coming their way. Now, local Republicans told us Friday they're glad this bill passed, but they're still frustrated with the governor killing the other three bills, which would have expanded the second lowest income tax bracket, increased a tax credit for married couples, and expanded the amount of tax-exempt income for retirees. Despite rain across the area today, burn bans remain in effect for several counties throughout the region. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall explains why the wet weather doesn't mean you're in the clear. Jeremy. Yeah, Ken, thanks to the rain this morning, the fire danger classification has changed from moderate to low. But the Lacrosse Fire Department and the DNR say that alone doesn't change the need for enhanced fire safety because those dry conditions will be back before you know it. Even with today's precipitation and more sunshine forecasted this week, burn bans remain in effect. After today, conditions will return to being dry, and we just haven't had enough wet weather to keep it wet on the ground. The bans are designed to help prevent wildfires that can be sparked by not disposing cigarettes properly or misusing fireworks. The Lacrosse Fire Department says something as simple as backyard tiki torches can also cause them. I know in March that seems like a weird thing, but with our, our warmer temperatures, with bugs coming out sooner, um, those are the kind of things that with dry conditions, it doesn't take much if you have any kind of embers floating. Dry air and high winds elevate the risk for fires. The DNR classifies the fire dangers into five categories, low, moderate, high, very high, and extreme. Today's rain has the area in the low category, but with more sunshine on the way, that's expected to go back up. Forest fires in Wisconsin are very similar to Canada, so we measure a lot of different metrics um, when when we calculate what the uh, what the fire danger is. Um, but a lot of it's common sense too. So we look at you know are we in a drought? Um, what is the chance of precipitation today? What are what is the wind speed? What is the relative humidity? And the Lacrosse Fire Department also tells me people should check the DNR's website before any type of burn as the fire danger classifications can differ in each county. 
Ken. All right, Jeremy, thanks very much. And we will have a link to the DNR's resources that Jeremy mentioned on all of our digital platforms. And it has been a wet one today, although it's kind of been the outlier for this recent stretch. We haven't had a lot of days of precipitation, Greg. Yeah, well, we haven't had any days of our the afternoon's been right evening. We even had thunderstorms, so thunderstorms with even some small hail across most of the area. So we continue to see that this evening, not quite as widespread as we saw this morning, but if you look outside the cameras right now, overall we're in the upper 40, upper 30s, excuse me, to around 40, often on light rain. We even had some mix of snow up in Eau Claire and other areas right now. Currently right now, if you look at the, the rain, there's your some rain or snow up towards Eau Claire, 35, 34 degrees. So if we do get some snow, it's not going to be a huge deal on the roads, but still you notice the temperatures have fallen off. Big picture shows you we're seeing another batch really expand up towards La Crosse as we zoom in. That's going to give you some light rain, light snow probably for some areas, but mainly just rain as you speak of, maybe even thunder too as we come through this evening hour. So that's the one thing we're dealing with for the evening commute off and on rain. Big picture shows as we time this out, I think by seven o'clock, it's already kind of ending for Eau Claire to Winona as we get towards La Crosse. It's more like about eight to nine. We'll start seeing the back edge and then further south to Zavaroqua, Prairie du Chien and Bosco area will be more closer to 10 where we'll start seeing the rain finally drop off and then actually we'll start seeing clearing skies further north as we go out throughout the night. So tomorrow we're looking still at dry conditions probably for Tuesday and even Wednesday with back to mild conditions in the 50s. Once again, we should be around the upper 30s. So that does pattern does not change despite the wet weather we just had. Okay, Craig Barnhart with the latest. Thank you, Craig. A Massachusetts Air National Guardsman pleads guilty to leaking sensitive national defense information. 22-year-old Jack Texera admitted to posting a trove of highly classified intelligence reports and other documents on social media. He pleaded guilty to all six counts he faced under the Espionage Act. Under a plea deal, prosecutors will ask a judge for a sentence of more than 16 years in prison. Without a deal, Texera would have faced decades in prison. A federal judge will ultimately decide the final sentence in September. Voters in 15 states in the territory of American Samoa head to the polls tomorrow, casting their ballots in the Republican presidential primary. Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley picked up her first win over the weekend when she won in Washington, D.C. But as Donya Backus reports, time may be running out for Haley to stop former President Donald Trump from winning the contest. Hello, Texas! Nikki Haley urged voters in Texas to go to the polls on Super Tuesday. We don't anoint kings in America, we have elections. And Texans deserve the right to be able to vote. Haley made history Sunday, becoming the first woman to win any Republican primary when she bested former President Trump in Washington, D.C.'s contest. The choice comes down to this. We can either have more of the same or we can go in a new direction. Still, the former UN ambassador is far behind the former president and delegates needed to secure the GOP nomination. We've been uh, launching like a rocket to the Republican nomination. California is one of 15 states voting on Super Tuesday. Tomorrow's contest will award more than a third of delegates in the race, meaning Trump can all but lock up the nomination with a big night. He is already looking ahead to a rematch with President Biden in November. The poll numbers are very good. We're uh, beating President Biden in almost every poll. The former president says Biden is trying to use the courts to beat him, but says that's backfired. The polls show that uh, I'm much more popular than I was before weaponization. On the eve of Tuesday's contests, the Supreme Court ruled states must keep Trump's name on the ballot. Don Yavakis, CBS News, Los Angeles. One of the states voting on Super Tuesday is Colorado, whose Supreme Court initially ruled Trump could not be on the primary ballot. The U.S. Supreme Court, though, has overruled that decision. The justice's unanimous decision restores Trump's name to all 2024 presidential primary ballots. Colorado voters argued an insurrection clause in the Constitution's 14th Amendment disqualified Trump from holding office because of his attempts to undo his 2020 loss, which came to a head, of course, in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Today's Supreme Court ruling says only Congress Congress can decide how and when that constitutional provision is implemented. The Supreme Court's decision today did not exonerate him. They did not say that January 6th wasn't an insurrection, and they did not say that he didn't engage in insurrection. The Supreme Court has agreed to weigh in on whether Trump can be tried criminally for his actions on January 6th. Next month, the court will hear arguments about whether Trump is entitled to broad immunity from prosecution from acts allegedly committed while in office. Just ahead, over-the-counter accessibility. A pill with 98% effectiveness is heading to pharmacies nationwide. We'll have those details right after this.
How much time do you spend comparing prices on pre-owned vehicles? At Doll Auto, we're comparing prices every day, all week, all year. Because we want our price to be the best price by far. Doll Auto. Are you ready to get more from your checking account? Ultra's A-plus accounts are built with more in mind. More ways to stay connected to your finances with online and mobile banking. More secure ways to pay with contactless debit cards and mobile wallet, so you can make purchases without slowing down. More money in your pocket with better rates, no minimum balance, and no monthly fees. Open your account online and start getting more from your checking account. Ultra Federal Credit Union, helping you live your best life. Get solar and get saving with Olson Solar Energy in the La Crosse area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olson Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you or give us a call and ask us about our Earth Day promo. Are you ready to build your future? Stella Jones Corporation in Bangor is hiring and wants you to apply. Starting wage for laborers up to $18 per hour with a $2,500 hiring bonus. No experience but a great attitude? Then apply today. Stella Jones Corporation is where safety matters and wages sustain a comfortable living. If you have what it takes and can stand behind our railroads, then we want you to apply today. Getting up to 5% back is easy at Fleet Farm. Fleet Rewards members can earn up to 5% back on every purchase, in-store and online. The earnings stack up automatically. The more you buy, the more you earn. No rebates, no coupons, no hassles. And Fleet Rewards membership is easy, so sign up now and start earning up to 5% back on everything you need for everyday life at Fleet Farm. Some exclusions apply. Have your own five-star experience at Dahl Auto. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. The first ever over-the-counter birth control pill approved in the U.S. is now being shipped to stores and pharmacies across the country. O-Pill is a mini pill that contains the hormone progestin. If it's taken as directed, the company behind the pill says it can be up to 98% effective at preventing pregnancy. That's the same effectiveness as most birth control pills. And our decades of experience and knowledge with progesterone to say O-Pill is safe and making it over-the-counter is going to improve access. The manufacturer's suggested retail price is $19.99 for a one-month supply and $49.99 for a three-month supply. It's available online at opill.com, and you can expect to see it in the family planning section of pharmacies in just a few weeks. CVS and Walgreens, the two biggest pharmacy chains in the U.S., will start selling the abortion pill Mifepristone in certain stores in several states. Following a rule change at the FDA, the medication will be available in states where abortion is legal. Walgreens is expected to begin dispensing the pills within a week in New York, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, California, and Illinois. CVS will begin filling prescriptions for the medication in Massachusetts and Rhode Island in the weeks ahead and plans to expand to additional states. Medical contributor Celine Gounder says this is a breakthrough in women's health. Still need a prescription, prescription yeah. um, so this is not over the counter to be very clear, you still need a prescription, but in the past uh, access has been either through specialty clinics, which stock the medication, or through telemedicine and mail order pharmacy. And so it really does open up avenues for women to access. The cash price for Mifepristone is expected to be about $79, although some women will be able to use health insurance to purchase the drug. Well, it's tearful farewell for one of professional football's most recognizable faces, Jason Kelsey's outgoing message as he officially retires from the NFL. And we did receive some much rate and needed precipitation, some rain and snow, but we're going to go back to dry and mild conditions for a short time. But we do have got more wet weather on the way for the last half of the week. I'll break all that down coming up on your next warm update after the break.
We've done many, many renovations. We bought an old house and have made it into an up-to-date house. Whenever anything involves plumbing, the first call I make is to Maxwell White. Their technicians put together a great final product. Luther High School is a powerhouse in culture and fulfilling the needs of each student. We recognize the future needs of all students, whether it's a four-year college, trades, or a trade school. Our on-site industrial arts program offers advanced welding, advanced woodworking programs, and our Industry 4.0 classes allow stackable credits at technical colleges throughout Wisconsin. Luther High School, Christ-centered, encouraging and preparing students for life. Schedule your tour today. Go to lutherhigh.org. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. What I love about T-Mobile is that just about anywhere you go, you're gonna have coverage. Where I live is a rural area. The coverage has been awesome. Reliable coverage is super important for me, for my business. And after investing billions to light up our network from big cities to small towns, T-Mobile is America's largest and fastest 5G network. See for yourself. Try T-Mobile's network free for three months. Your phone, our network, no strings. Whether it's a bathroom remodel or comprehensive plumbing services, we at Maxwell White strive to keep our neighbors safe and comfortable in their homes, offering honest, upfront pricing on every service, all backed by a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Call Maxwell White today. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. Philadelphia Eagles star center Jason Kelsey announced his retirement today during an emotional press conference. Kelsey spent his entire 13 year career with the Philadelphia Eagles, arriving as a sixth round pick in 2011. He of course won a Super Bowl with the Eagles in 2018, was selected to seven Pro Bowls, and has the franchise record for consecutive starts. He was one of the emotional leaders of the team and is almost a shoe in to the NFL Hall of Fame. But it doesn't make saying goodbye any easier. I've been asked many times, why did I choose football? What drew me to the game? And I never have an answer that gets it right. The best way I can explain it is what draws you to your favorite song, your favorite book. It's what it makes you feel. The seriousness of it, the intensity of it. Stepping on the field was the most alive and free I had ever felt. Football fans have known about Kelsey for much of his career, not only for his consistent play, but also for his eccentric and comedic antics off of it. His popularity, of course, exploded this past year thanks to his younger brother, Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis, who is, of course, dating superstar Taylor Swift. The two brothers had an emotional embrace after Jason's press conference. Of course, we'll get to hear from Jason plenty with their podcast, him and Travis do during the NFL season. So it's not goodbye to Jason, but definitely an emotional press conference today. And perhaps Mother Nature was watching because we saw the tears of precipitation fall in the Cooley region, Greg, and more to come perhaps later yeah, this week. It was, uh, we've, it's a rare opportunity. We've seen actually an afternoon that had a lot of rainfall, cloudy conditions, more like spring type stuff. We just haven't held that through February. So we have been fairly dry, but right now we're looking at a little main line. It's just lacrosse to Sparta to Viroqua. Some even some embedded thunder potentially in that, but that's one line. Then it gets a little scattered, a few lines as you go back to Claire, but that's kind of the back edge of the precipitation really as we're going to start seeing it this evening. It'll be shifting more further east and south, and if you time that out, you can kind of see by the time we get to 7, it's kind of right there, and as we get towards 8 to 9, lacrosse should be done. It'll be more Sparta to Barocco to Boscobel. These areas will generally kind of see it 
probably through about 10 p.m. And then overall, we'll start seeing clearing skies actually overnight for a lot of the areas up to the north. That'll allow the temperatures to fall back into the 20s, more 30s to go further south. But all off, we look ahead, really, we're looking at 40s and 50s, so still mild conditions behind the system. 50s Thursday, we can even see a few 60s because we do have a system approaching that'll drop our temperatures back to the 30s, 40s, which is not that far from average by Friday. And the weekend looks cooler overall, but the next week will look like 60s maybe right back too. So precipitation, we're dry through Thursday. That system, I'll kind of time that out. Thursday night through Friday night looks like the wet conditions. Perhaps some snow with this, depending on how things play out. The next weekend still looks fairly dry, so that's probably the good news going in. As we time out tomorrow, really it's going to be a morning cloud cover for southern areas. Otherwise, plenty of sun as we get towards noon with a light northeast wind. We should be in the 40s, or at least low 40s by the time to noon. Potentially getting up to the low 50s in the afternoon for most areas. A little cooler to the north, but all in all, still above average. We should be right around the upper 30s. And as we go in through Wednesday morning, more clear skies, so temperatures should fall back into the mid to upper 20s, a little bit above average. And then Wednesday, we should warm it back up with a little bit more cloud cover as that system gets closer, but still plenty of sun in the afternoon. Speaking of that system, that's going to come up from the south as you just saw the cloud cover advancing. We're going to see precipitation start advancing probably Thursday evening and then expand across the area going into Friday. Now, there's the problem back as we go into Friday is it could be a mix of rain or snow depending on how this plays out, but that's the opportunity to see some. Notice the temperature still, so we're not expecting accumulation during the day with these type of temperatures. And then as we go through Friday night, That'll be probably the area of concern we'll have to keep an eye on because as temperatures fall Friday night, precipitation may be going on. That may cause some issues. We'll see about that. But going into the weekend, that goes to the east. We cool down. We get a little breezy. But all in all, it's still looking to be a dry, probably more seasonal weekend that we're looking at. But for tonight, we're still looking at conditions that should be fairly good. Once the rain ends, we should drop down to the low 20s up to the north. More cloud cover further south, around the low 30s. Tomorrow, we'll have morning low clouds to the south of La Crosse, but otherwise, most of the area will see plenty of sun in the afternoon. Getting close to 50 or in the low 50s, that's well above, still above average, and those mild conditions continue on Wednesday and even Thursday. And then that system does approach, and it does look wet right now, depending on how things play out, basically from Thursday night through Friday night. And beyond that, of course, next weekend, we have daylight savings time oh starting, gosh. so don't forget about that hour. Oh, You're going to lose. Mm. <laughs> I saw that graphic. I'm like, oh, there's some disappointment yeah, right so there. Yeah, a lot of people will be complaining about the hour they sleep they don't get going this Sunday. But it yeah. should be dry, maybe cooler weekend. But uh, all in all, once again, still no sign of really winter and big-time snow yet for this month. So. All right, there's some consolation right yes, there. Yes, it is. Thank you, Greg. Mm -hmm. When we come back, the gift of life. A transplant at Rochester's Mayo Clinic will be linking two families forever. Proper installation of your new windows make a difference. The team at Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions are factory trained to make sure your windows are installed to last. Call or stop into the showroom for your free estimate. Sinking driveway? Call American Waterworks. Settling patio? Call American Waterworks. Collapsing stoop? Call American Waterworks. Cracking sidewalk? That's right, call American Waterworks. It's a fact. Concrete problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call American Waterworks. Call American Waterworks today. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you quality name brand jeans and work pants because we get you. So stock up now with unbeatable deals on your favorite styles for spring, like men's Wrangler five-star jeans. Buy one, get one half price. Save $10 on men's key brand bibs or jeans when you buy two. Get a free $20 gift card when you spend $100 on men's or women's Ariat jeans and men's Rustler jeans, $15.99. Rewards members save an extra buck. We get you what you need because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. A lot has changed since the overhead door company installed its first door in 1921. One thing that hasn't, our commitment to quality. We set the standard a century ago with the first motorized garage door, and we have not stopped innovating since. Today, you can build your dream door with the DoorView app, and with the OHD Anywhere app, you can control your new door from anywhere. So next time you need a repair or replacement for your garage door, look for the red ribbon 
and trust 100 years of experience overhead door company. Telling the stories of our community. We're always on and where you can find us. News 8 Now. Expect more. Get the day's news in your inbox. Email newsletters from News 8 Now. Sign up today. Go to news8000.com slash newsletters to get started. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. 53 days. That's how long Roya Snyder was at the Mayo Clinic before she finally received a life-saving heart transplant. Her doctors at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester say the transplant was successful. Roya needed the transplant because she had cardiomyopathy, which means the heart wasn't the right shape, didn't pump correctly, or didn't empty blood fully. And while Roya has a new heart, her parents recognize that their best day is someone's darkest. We know that in all of our, our joy and our celebration and our, our happy tears, we also know that something very, very sad just happened at the same time, so it's hard to wrap your head around. A child similar in age gave their heart to Roya, which is something her parents can never express their gratitude enough. The Snyders say the support from their community also kept them going through some of the longest months of their lives. And while she won't have to use her shiny backpack anymore, Roya's parents say her shine will come from that new heart. Greg's going to have one more check of your forecast when we come back. Todd Holtz enjoys working at Park Bank because it's a small community bank that allows him to get to know his customers in a personal way. Todd also enjoys the great outdoors and the activities that come with camping. So visit Todd at Park Bank in La Crosse to talk about your financial dreams and roughing it. If your tub or shower is less than you'd like it to be, then you owe it to yourself to visit the board store during the 2024 Early Bird Home Show. If you'd like a shower, rain shower, personal shower, shelves, safety grab bars, you can get a complete unit as low as $79.80. Call or visit the board store during the Early Bird Home Show for safety, convenience, and beauty in your new bathroom. Call or visit today. Looking for laminate or wood flooring? Why choose Carpets to Go? At Wisconsin's premier flooring sales, Carpets to Go has the best in selection and name brands. Forget what you thought about laminate. Today's laminate is better, stronger, and more stylish than ever. Wood flooring brings an elegance to any room, and there's a wood type and stain for every room. With free estimates and design, financing and installation available, there's no better choice than Carpets to Go at their convenient location in Onalaska. College is more than the knowledge you gain. It's a place to cultivate your curiosity. It's where you explore the potential and what's next. It's where you find the tenacity to rise, rather than settle for good enough. It's a series of moments that add up to form your future self. It's where what you want is within reach, on your terms. It's where you find a career, not just a job. Western Technical College, discover what you're made of. Our composite windows are the clear choice for your home. This window is 12 times stronger than vinyl, 2,000% more airtight, and 40% more energy efficient, all at a price less than what many companies charge for vinyl windows. What does this mean for you and your home? Our composite windows make you more comfortable and save on your energy bills. You're such a window nerd. I've done my research, so you don't have to. Come visit our new showroom and test the window nerd's knowledge. Clear choice window and home solutions. Your choice for quality, affordable windows. There's been a lot of interest in interest these days. Interest is growing in our rewards-based Kasasa checking account with 3.55 annual percentage yield. Interested? Contact us at Park Bank. Member FDIC. Coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News, basketball star Caitlin Clark smashing records, becoming the NCAA all-time leading scorer for both men and women. How she's transforming the game with her hustle, and humility. That and more headlines tonight on the CBS Evening News. All right, we still got that rain snow coming through. Kind of the snow line may touch a little bit of Black River Falls, but I think most areas will just see rain. It'll start tapering up for at least our area to the north by 9. Areas to the south probably closer to 10 p.m. and then clearing skies throughout the night. Tomorrow we're going to have more sun, 51 degrees, and more conditions continuing to go on to the mid-50s and beyond. All right, a return to mild. Thank you, Greg, and thank you for joining us at 5. Hope to see you again at 6.